Oh boy guys, what's going on? Rabbit here, and if you are a CPU miner, then you will probably have a big fat smile on your face, especially if you've been watching some of the live streams and stuff. We've been talking a little bit about Spectre, and it has been going on a little bit of a craze lately, and up over 800%. So it's making on my farm over $200 a day right now, which is pretty insane. Now if you were mining this earlier, before all the hash rates spiked, you are making a lot of money per day. Now, if you are not familiar with Spectre, we're gonna look at that in a minute, but a quick sum up, it's pretty much a Casper fork. It is blocked egg technology. They did actually implement rust on the nodes and everything about four days ago, and they're gonna be slowly moving into privacy here very, very soon. The dev has been pretty active and he has been ahead of his roadmap, which is always a good thing, but it also uses Astro BWT V3 algorithm, which is the same as Duro. Slight difference going on with it, and it is CPUs, not GPU mineable. That's why we're not seeing the GPUs really hit it, like there are some on Duro, but it is using that type of algorithm. So let's go have a look at Spectre and see what is going on. And remember, everything can change at the blink of an eye. In one week's time, the price could crash, the price could be higher, we have no idea. And here we are taking a look at Spectre. No, this is not a how to mine guide. We'll look at that. If you want to know how to mine this coin, let me know down in the comments section. But we're just taking a little look. So we can see Spectre Network Phantom Protocol plus Ghost Egg plus Ghost Face equals Spectre here. So Ghost Egg Protocol. Uh, the Ghost Egg Protocol is an advanced consensus mechanism that enhances blockchain efficiency and scalability by incorporating orphan blocks into the main ledger and enabling parallel block processing. This approach ensures faster transaction confirmation, reduces waste, and increases security. Uh, the Spectre X algorithm, this is based on the Astro BWT V3 and integrated with a unique three-step proof-of-work process involving SHA-3, Astro BWT V3, and Heavy Hash. Spectre X promotes fair and decentralized network participation by enabling efficient mining on ordinary computers. Therefore, you know, CPU miners, everybody has a CPU. Uh, Spectre full node you are going to have to mine to your own node there's one pool available but majority of the hash rate is solo mining here and the reference implementation written in go spectra d incorporates dag as a proof of work cryptocurrency with instant confirmations and sub second block times based on the phantom protocol and future privacy features planning to implement full non-disclosable privacy and anonymous transaction with the ghost face protocol utilizing peterson commitments for perfect hiding and el gamma for transaction signatures aiming for high transactions per second and untraceable transactions so i'm not really sure what peterson commitments as well as el gamma really is so if you guys know what that means uh let us know down in the comment section and explain it to us like we're two years old so the blocks per second just like castle stuff it's one block per second uh, in terms of speed here. Now coming down into the roadmap, we can see the mainnet launch that happened, Spectre and Rust, that happened. Rust node, that happened. And transitioning to Rust is currently in progress to get a full uh, transition over to that, but that's gonna happen very soon. And then they're gonna be doing by Q4, the privacy protocol, and that is that ghost face, which we kind of seen earlier. So very interesting stuff happening on the Spectre blockchain. So let's take a look at the current price. Right now, it does look like it's coming down a bit, but it is sitting a little over one cent. Now, there was, when it first opened up, it was around two cents. The network hash rate was about 60 mega hash. Then just like any new Caspa coin that comes out, Caspa coins usually do dump fairly fast off the get-go, then over time, slowly begin to rise. So could we see an uprising coming here? The block reward is only 12.5, which we could see here, actually not 12.5. It was only 12 uh, was the the initial block reward it is dropping every single month kind of like caspa it is currently down to 11.75 so it had one reduction and next month it's going to see its second reduction out of to 11.5 spr it's not very much but it does add up so they do have a mining calculator on their website. And I reference this to my spreadsheet and they are pretty close together. So I can accurately say that their calculator here 
is accurate. So coming in for a 3900X Ryzen CPU, just one of them, that's about 10.58 kilo hash. You can see all my network hash rate testing in the video I did on Spectre hash rates there a few days ago. I will link that down in the description. But you can see a 3900X currently is making about $4.58 a day. Now, I am sitting around 620 kilo hash. So if I calculate that, my farm is rocking about 270 USD per day right now. That is freaking amazing. Now, with the increase in price, we are seeing an increase in hash rate. And as I kind of mentioned earlier, when this first opened up a little over two cents, we we're sitting at 60 mega hash. Now, this did since then, as the price crashed, went down to only 11 mega hash. Now, I seen that it wasn't really that profitable when it did drop that low because the price crashed so much, but it was still profitable than a lot of the other coins out there, only making about 60 to 70 cents per 3900X. But my farm was mining around 40,000 coins a day at that. So let's just kind of see what my farm was mining. This is where the spec phase kind of comes into things. This is where you go where the yields are, and then if it pumps, that day it may be making quite a bit. So if I go 40,000 coins, I'm just using my phone calculator, and I times that by 0.1 cents, that is $400 per day that we were mining. If I was to go and sell it all right now, over those previous days when the hash rate dropped off the network. This is where you can capitalize if the coin pumps, but we never know what coins are ever gonna pump. That's the up in the air part. All right, guys, so just a rundown on Spectre. Now, I'm not sure how long this price is actually going to last or if it's going to come back and do something major when altcoin season really hits sometime next year. That's all up in the air. But right now, it's looking pretty good at the time of release of this video. I don't know how good it's going to look at that time. I imagine some people are going to be taking some profits. Other people might be turning on and trying to get some hash rate and get a few coins. We have no idea what people will do when it comes to this, but this is another project just to open your guys' eyes and say you may have a chance to maybe earn something here or maybe just move on to something else or, you know, never know, follow. Maybe some hash rate will move from something, come over to this, and that'll open up the gates to get more yields on something else. There's so many different things that work all the time here. So let me know your thoughts on Spectre. If you plan on mining it, have you been mining it? Do you think it'll do anything moving forward in the future? I'll see you on the next one. Rabid out.